Hi, this is Kathleen Roseanne with William Geek here at Spiel 2017. I'm sitting here with Andreas Preis from Zuchverlag. We're here to talk about kimono. That's true. So I'm assuming this has to do with... Uh, Look, I see items. I'm thinking yep. hiding things in your in your kimono. No, 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 no. It is set collection, so you do want to grab items. Uh, but it's um, I split you choose is what it boils right. down to. Okay. Japanese curios is what you're going for. You want mm -hmm. to collect sets. Came by Hisashi Hayashi. Uh, Ukazu brand uh, has a, a Japanese version. Shout out to Tasty Monster Games, who have an American version of it. Uh, Ten plus, three to six players. Mm -hmm. Uh, 30 minutes. So nice and quick. Three to six players. Is of course quite interesting. It's a comparatively small card game mm -hmm. that gets better if you have a, have more players. All right. So five, five might be the sweet spot uh, rather than six, but uh, it's definitely better to have four, five, six players than three. Okay. I see lots of uh, Japanese items right. like uh, little umbrellas you, and katanas. Do you, you play for five rounds? All right. There's going to be stacks of cards for each round. You, one player is the master, who, <laughs> who picks nice. up, picks up the first stack, and puts down the cards without changing their order. Important. All right. So you're just placing them in a row. Right. And then the master splits the cards. Anyway. All right. Could so be, you can choose to go like this, or you can do it right down the middle. Fine. Yes. Uh, adds this card, which I'm going to explain in a, in a moment. And then everybody gets to vote on whether they want this side the, or this side. This or that side, one or two. They have their little voting All markers right. for that. Secret. Simultaneously, you open them up. If there's uh, one player who wants uh, the, the cards on one side and they're the only one, they're gonna get those cards, all of those cards. Mm. Usually that's not the case. Usually there's going to be at least two players who want half of whatever the amount of cards are. So if we're, if we're fighting over one side, then we have to do another split. There you go. There you go. That's exactly what we're doing. Uh, so if it had been like uh, this, for example, this person would get those, and then these would be then split one, once more. Absolutely, yeah. Up to the point where there's more only than one player wants a single card, which of course cannot be split. Well, no, yeah. and then you get the ah, there you go. Then you get a kimono. Now, kimono, just like most of the other curios, work like this. You get victory points for them, as many as it's printed on it. But you must not collect uh, more than uh, yes, than, than it is allowed. So, um, for example, of the umbrellas, you uh, want no more than two of them. All right, so these little tags are the indicated amount. The, the little flag mm -hmm. thingies, exactly. Whereas items such as negative points, a little fire. <laughs> yes, you can collect them. And <laughs> as many as you want. And there are uh, Koban uh, gold pieces that don't have a limit. Mm -hmm. So those are really good. Fire, less good. Uh, the regular curios, the ones that you usually would want to collect, work like this. First one just scores normally five points. You can see you uh, can have two of those, so that's 10 points. Uh, if you go over, you, you get don't get those one. points, and instead you get uh, minus one point per card. So that's ah. five, 10, minus three. Uh, the next one would be minus four, and so on and so All forth. Right. Um, a couple of special cards in there that uh, let you clean out what you've collected so far, or draw a random card, for example, or duplicate another card. This guy of course, is unexplained so far and important. The, the little mouse is the apprentice. Any card that nobody picks up for whatever reason happens, goes uh, into uh, this location. Over here, there you go. The barrel. And the apprentice is gonna clean out the barrel at the end of the round and get everything that's in there. Aha. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. On top of that, the apprentice is also going to become the master for the next round All right. and do the splits. That's most of the rules. Uh, plays quickly for a good number of people, uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Nice, quick. Clever little game. Fantastic, thank you so much. That is Kimono from Zofdalag.